The Surface Extrude tool has undergone some changes in 3D Coat version 3.2. Namely, up here on the top toolbar, you can see Extrude Direction. You can now select the direction that you extrude in. There is Average Normal, View Direction along X, Y, and Z, Vertex Normal, and Initial Vertex Normal. So let's cover these uh, different methods here. And uh, one thing to note also is that the Surface Extrude tool is much faster than the Volume Extrude tool. So keep that in mind when you're using these tools. Okay, Average Normal. That will, of course, use the average normal uh, vertexes that you're sculpting over. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, we'll just use this um, pin alpha here that will allow us to demonstrate better. And I got the brush up somewhat high, so you'll be able to see what's going on. All right, we'll make a large stroke along the surface here. All right, so you can see if we look at it from the top angle here, it's going out from the exact direction that uh, the original surface was on, including this right here. It even has a nice hard edge right there. All right, so that's average normal. Next is view direction. This one will actually um, extrude based on the camera perspective. It will always extrude toward the camera. So let's get a round shape here. Okay, we're going to sculpt along that same surface, but we're going to start over here. In fact, we'll start at the bottom here. And, oops, I have symmetry turned on. Let's turn off symmetry for this. Okay, and then sculpt along here and then right toward the back. Now you'll see here that uh, it's pretty uh, pretty deep extrusion right here and it's also kind of pointing upward and uh, forward there. That's because that's where our camera is pointed. If you look over here it tapers because the camera was uh, a little shallow right there. And uh, same right here on this end. Okay, so that one's view direction. Along X, Y, and Z are all uh, self-explanatory, but I'll show one of these here. And um, we'll use along Y. Okay, now let's scale up the brush a little bit. We're going to sculpt on the outermost portion or silhouette of this uh, from the side. And it will pull it upward or extrude it upward. So let's make a little stroke here. You can see it's pulled it straight up. And uh, you can do that along the X, Y, or Z. I actually find that one quite handy for some uh, weird stuff, like creating railways or... Well, you get the point. It extrudes things. <laughs> Alright, so uh, vertex normal. And I actually have to correct myself earlier. I said uh, average vertex normal. That's incorrect. That's the average surface normal because... Uh, surface normal is actually polygons, not uh, vertex normal. So uh, vertex normal is similar, except it will perform along the vertex normal. And uh, you may or may not notice a difference. So um, there was a hard edge right there, but now it's extruding out on the vertex normal as uh, compared to the average normal of the polygons that are underneath, underneath here. And uh, it does look slightly different. Uh, but not uh, not too terribly much. It is a little smoother in its extrusion. Okay, now we have initial vertex normal. Uh, Self-explanatory. When you make a stroke, uh, the first vertex you click on is going to be the basis for the rest of your stroke as far as normals go. So uh, if we click up here, you'll see it's creating a weird stroke. It's always pointing out kind of that way for the most part. Alright, so now that we've covered the different types of extrusions, let's go back to the average normal and uh, let's talk a little bit about the uh, the tool. Uh, all it really does is uh, creates extrusions. I pretty much showed you exactly what it does. Now, uh, one thing I didn't show is that you can use it uh, while holding control, you can use the inverse to create indentations and get nice hard edges like like so. So it works pretty well for stuff like that to get uh, hard edges and the like.